Hey folks, in this video, we're going to be using the clone of Perplexity AI. So if you look at this GitHub repo, it is published by this guy and it has over 20,000 stars. This apparently is an open source variant or version of Perplexity AI. And you can see this is uh, essentially how it looks. So what is OpenAI's new one models? And then uh, you get similar set of answer here along with the sources just like Perplexity also does. So essentially Perplexity end of the day is like a way or a wrapper that kind of works with OpenAI models and a bunch of different large language models, you know, kind of collates all the web sources where it finds article from and then shows these like these. So this clone or rather an open open source version enables you to do exactly that. The best part is that while it's code there, even if you have not written code before, there are only a few set of steps that you need to follow in order to make this work. So we're going to be using Docker for this. Docker is like a way for you to install these applications very, very quickly. So in a world where you're not looking using Docker, what you need to do install is, is to install everything independently. But with Docker, what the creator of this repo has done is that he's already gone ahead or they've already already gone ahead and wrote all the instructions that need to run in a sequence and once you once you run the docker file everything you need will be installed in your uh, local system and then you will be able to use it so that said how do you use it right so the very first thing you need to do is go to google and or open your browser and look for something like visual studio code now this is a code editor that we will need in order to run this file the second thing you need to download is docker desktop in order to run this whole container right so it will create an environment for your app it's almost so right now when you're using websites let's say if i go to ollie.social the reason why you're seeing this is someone has hosted this on the cloud somewhere right similarly docker hosts you know these pieces of code locally on your device and they act as a server where your code is stored and then you can use it on your browsers like this so go ahead and install Do docker the third thing you need is git here uh, because you will need to clone this repository on your local computer and the final two things that you should have in mind and there are more options that you can also look at is OpenAI API key one and then the second one is Grok API key. Grok is an inference for AI where you're able to generate the response faster. So we are going to be using Grok for inference and OpenAI API key in order to generate the output. That said, let's move on and see how we can clone and get this working locally. So the very first step, like I mentioned, is you need to go uh, to this section. And if you if you are familiar with code, all of this should be super easy for you. So go ahead and copy this command and open terminal and paste the command. Or let's say if you want to create this code or get this code in your separate folder, you need to go to that folder. So I'm going to say CD code, which will take me to the code folder. And if you want to go back, you do CD dot dot, which will take you back to the root folder. So I'm going to do CD code and then I'm going to paste this command here. Now I already cloned the model locally on my laptop, so I'm not going to redo this. But once you clone, it will be basically mean that you've already set up the perplexica locally and you should be able to find the code in your folder that you where you've just added this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do CD perplexica. Maybe I'm putting the name incorrectly. So let's copy this and do CD perplexica. Maybe it's not in the code folder. So I'm going to do go back to the root folder and I'm going to add this and it is in the root folder. So I went back and I did CD perplexica and now, now I'm inside this folder and I can now do code dot and this can be done once your Visual Studio code is installed. It will open the folder like this and at this point you have the basic you have all the code that you will need in order to run this the second thing you need to do is you will have the file called sample.config.toml in here you will need to remove the sample so the file will look like this right so it will look like this what you will need to do is you need to remove the sample thing the reason why we do this is because we don't want to push our open api key or grok api key on the cloud when we are running this we just want to use it locally on our pcs so put both of your open ai api key and grok api key here in order to make use of them as the model runs so now once that is done and i'm hoping docker is also installed at this point of time you're ready to run this model so what you need to do is open terminal and new terminal and then i'm going to go back to some other folders or rather read me so yes once you see this terminal here by clicking terminal and new terminal just paste this command here which will essentially start the docker now i'll show you this will fail and i'll also tell you why so when i push this 
you can see it fails that's because the docker system is not running on top here what you need to do is ensure that docker is running in which case it should show something like this on top this basically means that docker is successfully running on my computer and then i'm going to go ahead and paste this command and you can see everything is running as expected so what we need to do next is open our browsers and go to localhost 3000 and you can see the open source version of perplexity is running as expected so i'm going to say top ai news from february 5 you can see the ui looks very similar to perplexity and it does the exact same thing that perplexity does as well right so nasa's uh, spearx e2e networks australia's ban on deep sea ki program ai add-on for plural site and so on and you can also ask and also get follow-up questions via the same app so let's say if i click on this you can see we're now asking a follow-up question so this is very similar to how perplexity also works and on top of this you can see this is running on localhost 3000 which means it's running completely locally not on cloud so if i try to open this outside my computer it's going to fail and you can also do uh, also click here which essentially enables you to see the uh, discover section you click here and you get the summary of the news articles that it kind of gets i think it it is using an api to fetch all of this but yeah it's not exactly how i mean it does not have all the features that perplexity does but at least it has the major feature that perplexity does which you can use now you can also use speed in which case i think it uses grok you can also do balanced in which case it balances speed and accuracy by using different models and you can also attach images to analyze those you can also filter by reddit youtube wolfram alpha academic and so on so if i click this and i'm gonna, I'm gonna do who is go yashi you can see this will uh, hopefully this will look for youtube and i think there is a se separate setup for youtube that is available uh if you go back to this code you can see finds youtube videos and so on so obviously there are it's it's not foolproof when it comes to how it works but at least it gets the job done so the major feature that we want with perplexity is what you can make and make it work here so how do you stop it from this point is that once you install docker you need to open docker and you will see perplexica is running here what you need to do is you need to stop this right so right now it's running once you stop this now if you go back to the page here and you refresh you can see it's not working and if you want to run this just run it again and then you refresh and it's working so essentially this is like your own backend that will enable you to kind of run perplexities clone if i may or rather an open source alternative in case you do want to pay the for the premium version and the best part about this is that you can use any model that you want so foro mini and so on you can explore the code to find the other set of options available so you can see that here you can also use anthropic you can also use gemini and you can also actually do a search and find which model we are using, right? So we are using uh, GPT-4 or Mini, I believe. And in here also, you can see there are some configurations with respect to the models that you can use, right? So there is O1, O, GPT-4 or Mini, GPT-4 Turbo and so on and so forth. You can actually change the model names here or add more models in order to make this more suited for your use case. Again, this is something that you should explore yourself. And I'm not going to push you forward from this point because the use cases depend on all the other use cases that you have in mind. You can also use olama by the way uh, which is very good because you can actually clone deep seek r1 and use it for your perplexity use cases right so again all of these are use cases that you can explore the, from this point my goal with this video was to just show you that you can do this and i hope you understand this now i'm going to put the link to the repo please drop a star for this guy this guy has done a great job by open sourcing this but if you have any questions feel free to drop those in the comments thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one